Let's bring in human rights activist Dalia Ziada now. She's the executive director of the IBN Khaldun Center for Development Studies. She joins us now live via Skype from Cairo. Thank you for joining us. What do you think we in the world and those in Egypt are witnessing today? Thank you for having me, first of all. Uh, actually, what I'm seeing today reminds me of February 11th, when people were celebrating in the square, and uh, they are chanting army, and the people are one hand, and it ended up seeing the military hijacking our resolution. What I'm seeing today is simply the Muslim Brotherhood are softly, softly hijacking our resolution. I'm not very happy that Muslim brothers are, are winning this revolution because they have abused the name of, of, uh, of the martyrs, they have abused the blood of the martyrs most for themselves uh, during the, the, the school campaign. And as someone who is concerned about freedom and rights, I know very well that the Muslim Brotherhood will not respect it. I was in Excuse me, may I jump in there? Why do you know very well, in uh, your words, that the Muslim Brotherhood will not respect human rights? Yes, I was in a meeting recently uh, uh, as a representative uh, uh, with some other representatives from Egyptian civil society, and we met with the campaigners of Morsi. Morsi him, was supposed to be there, but he did not show up. Actually, we saw in their pamphlet that they are writing, we believe in human rights and women rights according to Sharia law. And when we asked them, what do you mean by Sharia law, they started to say things that are completely against women rights and human rights. Also, the period they have spent in Parliament, the past three months, they have shown us how much they respect human rights. Uh, and I'm really worried, as someone who believes, as someone who believes in liberal democracy, that it's true they came through a democracy, but are they, they, are they going to protect our liberty, our individual freedoms? I really doubt that. But Mohamed Morsi has said to CNN's Christian Amanpour that he will respect human rights, that first and foremost the Muslim Brotherhood um, were campaigning for a presidential position that would be in a democracy. And if you have these concerns, um, how do you then accuse the military of hijacking the res revolution when there are those who make the argument that the military is doing this for the very reasons that you've outlined? That's true. Actually, both the SCAF and the Muslim Brotherhood have been doing things since the revolution that helps them to pretend being pro-revolution and pro the, the liberalism and the liberal youth that have started this revolution. But if follow the promises they made and uh, the things they were not able to deliver to the Egyptian people according to these promises and all the promises they did not deliver, you will realize that. For example, the Muslim Brotherhood have promised that if they got uh, a good number of seats in parliament, they will not run for presidency. And see what happened. They ran for presidency when they felt it's their chance to acquire power over, right. over the country. Although, you know, at the same time, in their agenda of 2007, they made a program like trying to uh, express their views to the Egyptian people as they were establishing a political party at that time. They have mentioned clearly that they will not... All right, I think we're going to have to leave it there because the audio... Dahlia, I beg your pardon, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, though, because the audio uh, from your Skype connection is breaking up. That was Dahlia Zieda, Executive Director of the Ibn Khaldun Center for Development Studies, uh, adding uh, perhaps uh, more than a so 